here we have a machine running McAfee's ENS protection. Let's explore the UX to get an understanding of the differences between the legacy products VSE HIPS and Site Advisor and our single pane of glass with ENS. When we can open it up, we'll notice we're looking at the status page, which shows us all of the uh, statuses of the different protections or the modules that are turned on within the ENS console. We have threat prevention, firewall, web control, and adaptive threat protection all turned on. ATP is our capability of our uh, dynamic application containment, or DAC, and real protect machine learning uh, as well. So these are all enabled. We have the ability to go into our event log. This will show us any threats or events that may have taken place. All of this information has been sent up to EPO if this is in a managed state, and this system is managed by EPO. And if any of the files were quarantined, as you can see here, they get quarantined and it tells us when and what time and what type of files were actually quarantined. If we want to look deeper into each of these capabilities, uh, this actually has been administrative uh, locked in order for users not to be able to modify the protections. It's easy if you have the password and your administrator to go in and now you'll notice they light up and we're able to select these different items to get a better understanding of what is uh, turned on within each of our settings. So you'll notice ATP, we're able to go to firewall, web control, and ATP from what's turned on. You'll notice that adaptive threat protection is turned on. You also notice there's an observe mode. We can make these changes from here if we wanted to turn things on or off, but they would be rewritten by the EPO policy when it's the next ASCII check-in, just as a note. Um, but it gives us an understanding of all the different policies that are turned on. And it's very easy for us to uh, explore what's happening with the console directly from the console and one single pane of glass. Hopefully this gives you a little more information as to the differences of the UX between legacy products and the McAfee ENS console.